most efficient when the aircraft is in the air and at a certain speed because that's the 90% of the time the aircraft is going to be flying or using. It's like your car, there is a certain speed at which you get your best average. Lower and higher you don't get those averages. Same way for engines, there is a phase in the aircraft called the cruising phase. I come back to cruising phase in which the aircraft spends most of the time. So engines are designed to be most efficient in that phase. And they are the least efficient on ground when the aircraft is taxiing. Uh, they are not meant for that. And the aircrafts can't taxi at 50, 60 kilometers an hour. There are other aircrafts in front and so on. And the aircraft manufacturer also has a limitation that on turns, the aircraft should not go more than 10 knots. 10 knots would be about 18, 16, 18 kilometers. That means on turns, irrespective of how fast you go on a straight line, on turn you cannot go more than 10 knots. So those are restrictions. Plus in the apron area where there are a lot of people standing, a lot of equipment moving, the airport has a restriction, you cannot go more than 15 knots. On straight taxiways, the airport says the safe limit is 18 to 20 knots. You can go 40, 50 knots also. But these are some speeds at which the aircraft move. So when they move at such slow speeds, the engine become even more inefficient. So in about 12, 13 minutes, the aircraft would consume 250, uh, 300 kgs of fuel. So that's the kind of consumption. And this is what we try and address that when uh, you have an inefficient system, how could we make it or replicate it through an alternate system? We recently also introduced what is called an aircraft exterior dry wash. So aircrafts have to be washed, like your car has to be washed, your clothes have to be washed, the aircraft has to be washed. If it is not washed, the dust sticks on the aircraft. Just for your information, on a bigger aircraft, the weight of dust sticking to the aircraft let's take a Boeing 747 on a big aircraft, you can have as much as about 600 kgs of dust sticking to the aircraft. 600 kgs. And a smaller aircraft like an Airbus 320, uh, this is a 787, but for an Airbus 320, you, you can have something like uh, 90 to 100 kgs of dust sticking to the aircraft. You may still find it clean, but there is dust on the aircraft. Now, um, one passenger in aviation is weighed as 75 kgs, irrespective of whether he is less or more. That's the standard. Taken in aviation. 